somewhere in Australia. Do you know what we should build? An excellent grinder. Okay, but how should we make it better than the other grinders? Well, let's start by making it easy to go from pour over to espresso. Brilliant! And what else? And let's make it easy to use 54 and 58 mil powder filters. Oh, now that's gold. What else? Let's use magnets. Oh, I love magnets. But what should we call it? How about Smart Grinder Pro? Oh, now that's cracking. That's gonna sell better than Vegemite. Alrighty, let's talk about this grinder and what does make it smart. Now, something that I have known for a while now about Breville or by Sage is that they put a lot of thought into, into their designs and I like that quite a bit. So we're gonna have a look at this Smart Grinder Pro today. It is a very popular item. We're just gonna talk about why is it smart? What features does it have? So I'm just gonna turn on the display there and the first thing I mentioned in the intro is that you can switch here between espresso and pour over pretty easily. So the good thing about it is, is that they apparently have an encoder here on the dial adjustment. So you can see where your grind is going from this end with the low numbers all the way up to the higher numbers on this end. And that is a really good thing. It makes it very intuitive and easy to use. Another feature which is really cool is that you can switch these out for different sizes. So this right here is a 58 millimeter portafilter holder, which works great. And they also have a 54 millimeter portafilter, 50 to 54 it says. Now this one uh, obviously fits the OEM one from Sage Breville really well. That works just fine. And it slides in really easily, very nice. Of course, that's not going to work for all models of porta filters that you have. Keep that in mind. This has been designed specifically with the 54 millimeter porta filter from Sage Breville in mind. So if I try to go ahead and put this one in here, it's it's a little bit too deep, right? So this is a DeLonghi Dedica one from Neo Uza. That might not fit. And this one here, a bottomless one. I mean, this one does fit. You can actually engage it. Your mileage may vary on that. But of course, what you can always do is just remove this completely and then you can take whatever port or filter that you've got and you can just start it. So that's convenient. These are just nice for when you do have a port of filter that is compatible with the shape here. So I'm going to uh, show you one more thing. The Smart Grinder Pro comes with this canister. So you can also grind into the canister. If for example, you wanna grind for pour over coffee or drip coffee, all you gotta do is open that up like that, stuff that in there, and you're good to go that way as well. Very nice. You saw this slide out of here. So this grounds catch tray is also nice. It's got a metal slip on the back as well. So this is held in there with magnets too. So I really do like the use of the magnets here. You've got one, two, three magnets. That just makes for being delightful to use. Slip that back on there. What we're gonna do today is pull a shot with the dual boiler and that's a 58 millimeter port filter. So we're gonna try that out in just a little bit. Something else I think is quite smart about the grinder is that it's got here the grind amount. So this is the grind time. I've got it set at 15.4 seconds right now. And what's nice is that you can just switch between one and two shots. That way you can go in between pretty easily if you want a single or a double. So that's a nice feature and it's intuitive. Another thing that's nice is the beans canister. So you can just turn this to unlock it like that. And what that does at the same time is it closes up these bottom slits. So that is a really convenient feature. If you wanna switch out your beans, if you got an extra canister, for example, for decaf, then you can put your other canister on there, open it back up and you are good to go. Those are the main features of the Smart Grinder Pro. I've been using it for a while and it works really well. It does a nice fine grind for espresso. Although I will say one thing, I had to change the internal grind adjustment from six down to three. 
because at six, I had to go all the way down to one on the grind range here, and it still wasn't quite fine enough for espresso. So your mileage might vary there a little bit. You may need to take out the inner burr and adjust it. All right, with all that being said, let's go ahead and make ourselves an espresso shot. Getting value from this video? Please take a moment to like and subscribe. So you can do a little bit of distribution as well, either with a spinner distribution tool or with the WDT, whatever you like. And here we are. So that's what the puck looks like right there. Very nice. Put it in the machine and pull ourselves a shot. Nine bars of pressure showing on the manometer, so we got that grind dialed in nice. A 27 second shot. What we're working with there is some really nice crema. This is a nice fresh bean. I know it's delicious. And the Smart Grinder Pro does do a good job at giving me a nice fine grind for making espresso. Of course, it can also make a more coarse grind for doing something like a pour over. That's no problem. That one's nice. Silky, nice mouth feel. Good robustness to it. A little bit of sweetness coming out. And of course, all that has a lot to do with your settings here, with your puck prep, the temperature that you use, the ratio, how much you let out into your cup. All those things play a factor. The bottom line is that this grinder does do a fine job. And what makes it smart is the fact that it's configurable. You can use it for different size porta filters. It's got a nice timer on there. It's intuitive to use. And that's why I would say, yeah, that is a good label for the machine to call it a smart grinder, especially at that price range. It's a really nice grinder to have in your home for different types of coffee preparation. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, give it a like. If you thought it sucked, give it a thumbs down. Either way, thanks for joining me. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.